Hi, my name is Dr. Sureshit Patina. I'm an endoscopic surgeon working at Indigo Women's Centre Chennai. And today I would like to give you a brief description about fibroids, uh, their complications and their treatment. What are fibroids? Fibroids are also known as leomyomas and they are benign monoclonal tumors uh, which are arising from a single muscle cell in the myometrium or the uterus. I'm not going to give you on the various reasons on why women get fibroids. The reason is because almost 50% of women in the reproductive age group might have fibroids and uh, it is symptomatic which means it causes problems in 50% of women whereas in the other 50% might not cause any symptoms at all. I have found women where who had very small tiny fibroids maybe around one into one centimeter which is causing them excruciating pain and a lot of bleeding and I've seen women who had like large fibroids may most probably maybe around 10 to 12 centimeters in size and yet the patients might have no symptoms at all. So how do we classify fibroids depending on the situation in the uterine wall uh, we give them various names if it is outside the uterus we call them sub serous fibroids if they are inside the wall of the uterus we call them intramural fibroids and if they are inside the cavity of the uterus then we call them submucous fibroids submucous fibroids again are divided depending on how much they are inside the uterine cavity uh, either they are type 0 type 1 or type 2 in the figo classification so what are some of the risk factors of fibroids? Women who are delaying their pregnancy. Um, it is also common in women who have a family history of fibroids. Uh, there is a genetic component to it. Uh, women who are uh, blacks. Uh, what are some of the symptoms what a woman can present with when they have fibroids? One, they either will have excruciating pain during their bleeding or during their menstruation time. They might have excessive bleeding during their menstruation time. Uh, women who with fibroids can have pressure symptoms of uh, on the bladder and on the bowel which means they might have urinary and bowel complications and the other uh, you know, most important one why we get patients over here in our hospital is for um, infertility. Unfortunately, there are no medications to reduce the number of fibroids, but there have been studies which have shown that certain medications might reduce the number of, um, might reduce the size of the fibroids, but it does not completely eradicate them. The only way to eradicate a fibroid or to completely remove a fibroid is through surgery. If the patient is having severe symptoms of pain, uh, in that situation, we give the patient uh, tablet meptal spas. If the patient is having over bleeding, we give the patient oral contraceptive pills. So we give the patient either mifepristone uh, or we give them uh, ulipristol. This is to reduce or shrink the size of the fibroid. So I get asked this question very often. Uh, Doctor, what if a patient has a fibroid? She comes to you and uh, she does not have any kind of pain she does not have any kind of bleeding so how do you go ahead with it do you operate for this patient or not so my answer for them is very simple um, i divide this patient into two categories one are you looking for fertility and two are you not looking for fertility patients who are looking for fertility i would go ahead and immediately remove the fibroid because it takes time at least three months time for the uh, uterus to heal so uh, we are already losing time on that so I would probably take her up for surgery whereas patients who are not looking for infertility treatment at the same time they do not have any kind of pain or they do not have any kind of bleeding in those situations I would ask them to do watchful waiting so when I'm saying watchful waiting how long do we wait I would wait for the patient maybe up till the fiber becomes seven centimeters that is when I would ask the suggest the patient to have the fiber operated because the, as the fiber becomes larger and larger, it becomes more challenging for a laparoscopic surgeon to go ahead and remove the fibroid. Some of the novel treatments which have come up recently for fibroid treatment for patients who do not want to undergo surgery are MRGFUS and uterine artery embolization. So what is uterine artery embolization? In this method, the intervention radiologist uh, places an embolus or like a small block in the uterine artery so because the fiber gets its blood supply from the uterine artery uh, the moment you stop the blood supply to the um, fibroid the fiber also shrinks 
So this is an effective treatment for patients who are not looking for fertility but just want to shrink the size of the fibroid. MRGFUS is a similar kind of treatment where focused ultrasound is placed on the fibroid just to blast the cells within the fibroid. Uh, but unfortunately it has not really picked up very well because the cost of the treatment is very high but the results are not as effective as expected. So in conclusion uh, I would like to say uh, fibroids if they are asymptomatic they do not require any kind of surgery. Symptomatic fibroids if they are controlled by taking medication it's absolutely fine. Patients who are looking for infertility have to get the fibroid out before going in for any treatment. And finally, medical treatment is not really effective when compared to surgical treatment for uh, fibroid uterus. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you need more videos and if you need more information about fibroids, uh, do hit me up and you know where to find me. Alright, until the next one. Thank you guys for watching.